Alright guys, this is video number 5 of my YouTube tutorial on how to use LDD. So, as you can see here, this is the project that I've been working on recently. It is a Steyr AUG LMG. So that's basically the Steyr AUG light machine gun. So this right here is a light machine gun fed out of a 35 or 40 round box magazine detachable fully automatic it fires 5.56 by 45 millimeter rimless cartridges and as you can see it's got a longer barrel on it than the normal AUG the front um, front foregrip folds up towards the barrel and it's also got a bipod on it and that's basically it um, yeah I did the scope differently um, the normal AUG LMG and the normal AUG system itself has a circle mounted optic on it which actually comes with a weapon that's up to 1.5 magnification so I took that off and left the carrying handle and just put a red dot sight on it so yeah but um the whole point of this tutorial is to teach you guys how to operate how to insert a um, bolt into a weapon all my weapons have workable bolts as you can see here the bolt slides back and whenever this bolt slides back down here the shell ejection actually slides back so it's almost like an actual weapon if you guys know how an actual weapon works you know what I mean but basically what happens is you pull back up here with your hand and this slides back as well and this is just a hollowed space when this slides back and that's how a real weapon works. So, yeah, uh, I'm often asked the question of how I do this um, thing, how I do the movable bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So we're going to open up our brick palette. We're going to choose a pretty colored work in. I think I'll work in a uh, green today. So yeah, we're going to lay down a base. Your base doesn't matter of how big your base is. It really doesn't matter. Okay, guys? Uh, yep. So there's our base. It's three sixes, three, four by six plates put together to form in the four by 18 platform. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come grab some tiles. As you can see, if the screen will focus, there it is. See, so you're going to grab some tiles and you're going to throw them down. You're going to want to make sure that all the um, plates are, all the four by six flats that you have are connected together so that nothing bad happens or anything and you're gonna get a pattern started like this leave this open because in that spot you're gonna put a brick with actual studs on it but you're gonna color it some color that you'll never use in your life ever so I usually use like a brown because they don't use browns in my models so there you go you're going to color this one in odd color. You're going to make it smooth in the middle. And then you're going to leave these open on the side. <sighs> Alright, so choose a color for your bolt to be in. So I'm going to go with the pink because, I don't know, I like pink, I guess. Then you're going to find the longest one, which just so happens to be 2x16. And then your bolt is going to be sticking out on this side usually. If it's ambidextrous, it will be sticking out on both sides, but I usually have it on the left side. Uh, anyhow, so this right here is the piece that your hand is going to grab onto to pull back on to cock the weapon. So basically the charging handle. And the brick that you have odd colored right here, this brown one right here, basically all that does is hold the bolt in place so that LDD recognizes that this piece is fitting in here. Because if LDD doesn't recognize that this piece has anywhere to grab onto, your bolt will not go into the weapon. I repeat this, if LDD cannot recognize that there are any studs for this piece to hold onto, it will not recognize the bolt and you will just have it hanging off randomly over into the sunset somewhere. So, now that you have this plate the pink plates laid down for your bolt you delete the odd colored one and duplicate a flat tile and put it there 
that's what you do. So now then, technically this pink plate is not connected to this green plate. But that doesn't matter. So, now then you have pl room, plenty of room to work with on your bolt. Uh, by the way, I need to extend this out just a little bit. So, I'm going to do that right now. Just like so. Alright, anyhow. So yeah, this is the main base to our bolt. This green part right here is the main base to our upper receiver. And then you're going to want to fill in for a lot of the bolt as high as you can as you want to go. Technically the um, biggest length that you need is uh, two or three high. So you're going to ha I have two high right now and then you're going to have flat pieces up on top of this like so and the whole point of all these flat pieces is to make sure that none of these studs catch on one another yet the bolt has a nice snug fit in the hollowed out part of the uh, weapon itself uh, so yeah just gonna keep uh, copy and pasting all these flat tiles so that I have a flat here leave a space by the way so a flat here and a flat here so this is the bolt pretty much this is all my models pretty much have the same basic design of the bolt and then do, 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 do this so yep now then you pretty much enclose the um, the uh, the casing yeah casing so if we're moving back for this requires math by the way we're moving back four go here and here now we'll just go by three we'll go there and there and we'll delete these and reduplicate this over here and here and then I'll, I'll do this later when I have enough time to do it but anyhow so basically, oh wait, never mind. Don't do too high. Basically, you enclose your bolt system. Messed up there, by the way. Um, so you see what I did here. Basically, you make a hollowed out piece inside these bricks. You put the flat pieces up here on top of it so that it doesn't move anywhere. It's nice and stug, snug and gravity doesn't affect it as much whenever you have the um, flat pieces on it and then you measure it out so that these green pieces sit on top of it so basically it provides structural support and it also really helps with um, just the looks honestly so this is a basic bolt system yeah you can extend this as long as you want you can make it as tall as you want once you get enough practice with it, like I've had a lot of practice with it, then you can get really good at it to the point where you start making things that are um, really huge, but they have really amazing bolt systems on it. So this model, which is going to take a little long to load because it's really big, but you get really good at making bolts, and then you get really good at using the elements of Legos to the point where you can make models like this uh, Barrett 50 caliber M107 sniper rifle that I've done here and uh, don't mind the scope that was just experiment that I did that I haven't deleted but basically this entire bolt system works it's the same exact system I just showed you all I did was take and hollow out from here back and then I made sure that this gray part here fit nice and snug in here and you pull back on this lever here and it goes all the way back into the stock and then you can put a rubber band in so that it snaps forward if you want or you can just push it forward if you're me uh, fair warning if you do put your bolt on rubber bands so that it snaps forward you'll get a lot of breaking and that's why I prefer to just push it forward so yeah anyhow if you want to see the whole model that's what it is it's an M107 sniper rifle made by Barrett uh, used by the Navy SEALs commonly or 
hold on. That information is wrong considering the Navy SEALs just went up to the AS-50. So, disregard that. Um, another weapon that I used the bolt system on, but a different type of bolt system is the... Do, 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 do. 1040 CCP 10 so you've probably seen this before this is um, one of my own creations this isn't an actual gun yet but I, I hope to make it an actual gun soon whenever I get a CNC machine but basically here's the bolt right here if it's nice and snug same exact methods that I just showed you pull back here and on this side over here where the uh, shell ejector is, this moves back. It's a hollowed inside area whenever this moves back. And it's supposed to simulate the uh, shell ejecting, the spent cartridge ejecting. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you guys want to see how much crap I actually do have, this is all the files that I've done that are from my old computer so this is about two years worth of files yep on my flash drive right now which is all my years of LDD I have 629 files which is a lot of information for a flash drive anyhow hope you guys like the video hope it's helping you with all your tutorials on how to do certain things that I do uh, anyhow, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for videos similar.